Okay, everybody. So welcome back. If this is Ian, it is January fifteenth, two thousand and twenty-two, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to use Card as a blog, or how to use your uh, Card account to either blog for yourself or to create these for clients. I know I have folks in our community who are both online agencies, web consultancies, design agencies, as well as many folks who are building uh, tiny brands selling products, courses, content, coaching, and all that sort of stuff, and have asked me about using Card to blog. All right, so I, for one, as a quick uh, caveat and disclaimer, don't use Card as a blog uh, sort of solution, but you certainly can. It's incredibly affordable. Uh, you know, you can build a really nice looking blog using card as long as you have the right sort of template. And I'm going to show you one that I downloaded today that's free from, uh, you know, a dude that I don't really know personally. We've interacted a little bit uh, via email and on Twitter, uh, but who creates really beautiful card themes. You can go to work, W O R R K. Dot co and you can see some of his great designs there this one is free i just downloaded it today and i'm just going to show you how he conceptualizes using this as a blog which works really well for one i like the very small container i think this tends to convert well here's a picture of myself and my dad when i was a little better looking my dad i think has gotten better looking with age i'm certainly going the other direction but here you can really quickly add a title this is my blog I can't type or spell on mindfulness let's say all right we're gonna hit done and then you have this start reading button which kind of leads you below and again this is very rudimentary right but you'll see it looks good and all of your entries are going to go into this little tiny container. Or again, if you're doing this for clients, this is a great extra thing to offer your clients that would take you literally seconds to customize. So I'll show you what that would look like as well. Let's say we wanted to get another picture, get me out of the way here. And let's just go find something in this shitstorm of a folder that we can grab. All right, I'm going to grab this for a meditation. This is actually a tweet that I posted a while ago. All right, we're going to save it. You can see this is already published to a tiny blog.card.co. So I actually published this already today, only for illustrative purposes. You know, it's not, there's nothing there other than what you're looking at. But if you see this now, this is what it looks like live. All right, now let's go really quickly and make some simple modifications so you can see what the blog element would look like. Let's say you want to All right, you're going to change the date. Let's say I want to make this 115. Now, here's the real salient piece to use this as a blog. You want to take that container there and you want to copy it. So if you can see here at the bottom of the screen, I don't know if that's cut off or not, but I just duplicated that container twice. We're going to hit done. Let's go up. So we'll change this to part two. go up, we'll call this part three, and we're done, and now we're going to publish. Let's view the site. So this is the header of your blog, and this is the order in which your content's being displayed. 
And of course, you can rearrange that as you see fit. If you're doing this for clients, you can certainly start to think about imaginative ways of offering back-end services to clients who may want to use Card as a very rudimentary blog. And I mean, again, from a cost basis standpoint, Card is incredibly affordable. I think we pay somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 for 250 blo uh, you know, card sites over the course of a year. Um, you know, so it's incredibly cost effective both as an agency or as a entrepreneur who's selling digital downloads and things like that. As you can see, if you go back into our dashboard, this is my dashboard. I have a partner who has a bunch of these as well. And there, I mean, there's so many different templates and themes and designs that you can use with card. It's insane. And again, the cost basis to do this, whether for yourself or for clients, is incredibly appealing. All right, if you're interested in joining our tiny community, uh, you actually get access to some of these card themes and templates. So all you have to do is ask me if you're part of our community and tell me, you know, if I have the, the, the premium theme or template, we've purchase many. I'm happy to send it to you for free if you're part of our community, whether you're selling a tiny product like many folks in our community are now starting to do, or whether you're a, de a design uh, you know, focused agency or web consultant or marketing guru who wants to offer card as a service. Simply sign up for our tiny revolution, get in touch with me, let me know what you need, and I'm happy to uh, send you some free templates. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Feel free to ask any questions if you have them. And by the way, that theme, this one here that I just covered, is free. That's not a premium template. It's a premium theme shop that's offering it, but you can download this for free. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have a wonderful day.